Good morning everyone, I am Mark Dominic Tindugan and I am your reporter for today and I'm going to report my story, story analysis of defense by Jose Garcia Villa. So let's proceed. Let's proceed to the contents. Background of the study, author's background, character web, characterization, plot, styles of the author, themes, cultural implication, and implication of the title. Background of the study. The story tells about two women, neighbors who are cold to each other. They both live in a desolate place. The two women's nipa huts are the only visible houses in the place. Both huts are distant and cold to each other. They have an immovable and yielding fence that separates them to stay away from each other and to maintain the length of for both parties. So this is the story about how two women are cold to each other and they are both distant and uh, they have immobile and yielding fence that separates them to stay away from each other. So let's see of, in, uh, about how did they became cold and what is the reason of being them uh, distance to each other. So let's proceed. Uh, let's meet authors uh, Jose, Jose Garcia Villa, the author's background. Jose Garcia Villa, uh, August 5, 1908 to February, the death of February 7, 1997, was a Filipino poet, literary critic, short story writer, and painter. Awarded, awarded the National Artist of the Philippines title for literature in 1973 as well as the Guggenheim Fellowship in Creative Writing by Conrad Aiken. He is known to have introduced the reverse consonance rhymes scheme in writing poetry, as well as the extensive use of punctuation marks, especially commas, which made him known as the comma poet. He used the pen name the Vilgion, derived from dove, eagle, and lion, based on the characters he derived from himself. So let's proceed to the characterization of the story. Uh, we have Aling Biang, the unforgiving woman who was betrayed by her husband with her neighbor. Aling Sabia, a childless, childless widow, Aling Biang's neighbor who has not seen a feeling of remorse having caught with her hus neighbor's husband. A king, Aling Biang's son who wanted his mom to reconcile with their neighbor. Aling Sabia's daughter, a girl who is good in playing guitar that made I a king to fall in love. Aling's, Aling Biang's husband, a man who left and settled with his wife. So here is the character web. So we have here Aling Biang, uh, and here's a king, his son, uh, her son, and Aling Sabia, Al, uh, Aling Sabia's daughter. Uh, the Alex Alexander's daughter's name was not mentioned in the story, so uh, we just call her Alex Sabia's daughter. And he's here. Uh, he's her. Here's her husband, and the husband uh, husband's name was not mentioned also the, in the story. Okay, let's proceed. Let's proceed to the plot. The story opened with the description of the settings and how the characters are reflected in the setting. They should have stood apart away from each other, those two nipa houses. There should have been a lofty and penetrable wall between them so that they should not stare so coldly, so starkly at each other, just staring, not saying a word, not even a cruel world. So this story uh, starts with uh, explain, uh, explaining the two neighbors who just staring so coldly so starkly and to each other and just they're just staring at each other and not saying a word and not even a cruel word it's just like uh they stood apart in a place and they they just stare at each other and they have they they, they did not say anything just it, it just uh staring and very cold Formerly, there had been no bamboo fence, there had been no weeds, 
uh, there had been two rows of vegetables, one to each house, and the soil was not what was not parched but soft and rich. But something had happened, and the fence came to be built, and the vegetables that were so green began to turn pale, then paler, and yellow and brown. So here's the inciting incident. Aling Biang had caught her husband with tailing Sibia one night. So her husband is having an affair an affair affair with Aling Sebia. That's why that's the reason why she is cold and hardened. The next morning she had gone to the bamboo dump clumps near the river passage and felled canes with her woman's strength. Uh, this is Alec Biang's. When morning dawned, she rose and went back to the back of the house, although very tired, and began to split the bamboo. Her husband noticed here but said nothing. By noon, Alec Biang had built the fence. Two Tan country women finished the fence from the opposite to center ward. So, because of the reason of his her husband's affair, uh, she had gone to the bamboo clumps near the river Pasig and if, and get some bamboo sticks with her woman's strength. Uh, she was I uh, she was tired, but she decided to begin to split the bamboos, and her husband noticed here her. <laughs> But Aling Biang uh, said nothing. She was just focused on building the bam uh, splitting the bamboos. So when her husband asked her what she was doing, she answered, I am building a fence. What for? He asked. I need a fence. And then too, even, even, Al even Aling Sebia, the other woman, a childless widow, asked it inoffensively. What are you doing, Aling Sabi? Aling Biang? I am building a fence. What for? I need a fence. Aling Sabia, please do not talk to me again. But early one night, from beyond the fence, Aling Biang, Aling Biang heard cries from Aling Sabia, unwilling to pay any heed to them. She extinguished the light of the petrol kinky and laid herself down beside a king. But in spite of all, the cries of the woman made her made her uneasy. She stood up, when went to the window that faced the fence and cried from there. What's the matter with you, Aling Sabia? Aling Biang, please go to town and get me a helot, a midwife. What do you need a helot for? asked Aling Biang. I'm going to deliver a child and I am alone. Please, please go fetch a helot. Aling Biang stood there by the window a long time. She knew when child it was that was coming as the child of Aling Sabia. So, you know, yeah, that is Aling Sabia and her husband's. Mm -hmm. We don't know. So, she t stood motionless. The wind brush, brush, brushing her face coldly. What did she care of Aling Sabia was to undergo childbirth? So she did nothing. She just stood motionless, the wind brushing her face so coldly, face coldly, and she did nothing. She decided to lie down and sleep. See? She just, she just decided to lie down and sleep. She did not. She did nothing. Her body struck against her child as she did so, and the child moaned. The other child, too, could be moaning like that like her child from the womb of Aling Sabia. Hastily, Aling Biang stood up, wound her tapas round her waist, covered her shoulder with a cheap shawl. So here's the falling action. Uh, the boy Iking, uh, the boy Iking, uh, Iking is the son of Aling Biang, was not allowed to play by the roadside and he j could just catch glimpses of a girl on the other side this made the boy to secretly sneak to the other side of the fence so a king was not allowed to play by the roadside by Aling Biang because 
she is now conservative and she is very strict about go playing by the roadside so he could uh, Iking could just catch a glimpse or pick to the other side the uh, there's the fence has small holes uh, what did you call what we call that Basta, uh, small holes this made the boy secretly sneak to the other side of the fence so at night he hears an incomplete sound of a guitar he knew coming from the other side uh, the music was coming from the other side so it uh, it was played by the Aling uh, Sabia's daughter at night as his as he lo has he as he lay on the bamboo floor <laughs> notes of a guitar would reach his ears the notes were metallic clanking and at the middle of the nocturne they stopped abruptly who played raucous notes who played the only music he had ever heard in his life so that's the only music that he, he ever heard in his life so why did that player never finish his music he asked and one night a king approached her and said I will sleep by the door, Nanay. I want to sleep alone. I am a grown up. I am 15. So, poor little Iking. Her mother is the reason why she is why he is like that. One morning, Iking woke up with a disturbing sound. He saw his mother reinforcing and threatening the fence. So, her mother re. Uh, Re renovates the fence because it's too old and there's so many molds there like fungus and I fungi I said why why he claimed he exclaimed in protest his mother stopped hammering she stared at him cruelly I need it she declared forcefully the veins on her forehead racing out clearly your mother's need it you need it too so, her mother is really strict, uh, strict because and really angry because you know she doesn't like Aling Sabia. Why? But a king doesn't know about it. A king really wanted his mother to allow him at least listen to the music, but he was never granted. Even though that night was Christmas, and both of them pray, pray the for the Lord. Even after Christmas Eve, I I almost forgot that the king grow. Uh, he's he's a boy who was who who likely got sick. Uh, Masakitun, yeah, in Bisaya. He grows weak weekly, and you can see that. Uh, that in the story he was described as uh, what badaling the puan ng sakit yeah that's that's the term but uh, where's where are we so a king even after Christmas Eve a king was still waiting for the guitar to be played because he is hearing the sound on that time but it never played until 2 a.m. when a king eyes were close and his hands were cold so the line here until 2 a.m. when a king eyes were closed and his hands were cold cold a king died yeah at 3 a.m. the guitar was played and finally finished its playing but Aling Biang was very angry shouting that the guitar playing was a mock because his son is already dead but little did she know Iking was expecting for the music but her mother Alan Biang said that uh, they are mocking because his son is already dead so styles of the author man a uh, conflict man versus man man versus man because Aling Sebia and Aling Biang has conflict. They are 
they they were too cold to each other and you can't blame miss i aling biang because her husband cheated and the woman is the other woman is aling sepia you can't blame her flashback 18 years old bonnie a king the, uh, this is this was a, a sentence of uh yeah sentences in the story the king lying ghastly play on the mat at all the time waiting for the music from the other side of the fence that had stopped three years ago so he was thinking uh, and waiting for from the other side of the fence that had stopped three years ago so that is flashback so themes hatred Aling Biang's husband cheated this is the reason why she is hardened and cold sadness the king only wanted to listen to the music and so his love then to see his love uh king for fall in love with aling sabia's daughter because of the music yeah but the fence became a hindrance to him it considered as isolation sadness and no freedom betrayal betrayal a betrayal of an has of his as a, Oh my god and husband it's uh for, i'm sorry for <laughs> i'm sorry for this betrayal of his her husband is unforgiving this is the reason of the coldness of two women they represent a dead and dark silent place death a king's eyes were closed and his hands were cold his mother whip his heart beat no more so a king where where close his uh, eyes and his hands were cold so a king died that's why the thing is dead so cultural implication betrayal and cheating so cultural implication uh, this is still exists in, in our culture at the end of the 21st century betrayal and cheating truly exists up to this day 2021 is considered a breakup year because some celebrities ended their relationship and what the reason is third party most of songs today are related to cheating that's it's true diva diva try and cheating hindrance that leads to unhappiness unhappiness or sadness timely relevant to our country or to, to our society Ikang did not Ikang did not felt happy the fence signifies the walls that hinges in separation of freedom mostly of people today are isolated by their fear and sadness that is still exists in our society today so implication of the title the fence by Gorsha, jose garcia villa is the importance of forgetting the past and forgiving others the story was a uh, uh, told that a king had nothing to do with the scene of the their neighbor and her father so forgiveness is a way to the reconciliation of the princess and on the other hand hatred keeps keeps the fire of revenge and anger they sleep so you can also bling, blame Aling Biang because he was che- she was cheated by her husband the fence signifies the walls the tangents and separate even best friends family relatives friends freedom and even the possibility of happiness so that's it i hope you learned something today uh once again i am mark dominic tindugan good morning and thank you so much bye